scientist, welcome to Science with Sophie. I'm Sophie, helping you be a brave, smart, curious, funny scientist every day. Welcome to today's Science Minute, where I answer your science questions in a minute or less. Today's question comes from at Dragon Mullet on Instagram. I've been reading this news all about zombie pigs. Have scientists really brought pigs back to life? Love it. Great question. Neuroscience, dig. We need to define simply three things, life, death, and zombies. Easy. I'm going to do it in reverse order. Ready, set, science! A zombie is defined in science fiction as an animal that was brought back to life from the dead. An animal is considered dead in science when it, its heart and lungs or brain stop working. When your heart and lungs stop working, eventually your brain does too. So we ultimately all die of brain death. Ain't that fun? How does a brain cell die? Take a deep breath in. <sighs> it's oxygen. Your brain really, really needs it and cannot store it. So we're constantly breathing. Even just a few minutes without oxygen and your brain cells start to die irreversibly, or so we thought. That's why this study is really turning heads. Because researchers at Yale took a bunch of pig brains that have been dead for hours and were able to restore some function to their cells. So are they alive? Well, to be alive, definitionally, you have to be, I mean, just not dead. Your cells are functioning and the pig brain cells didn't quite get that far. The scientists quoted, not a living brain, but a cellularly active brain. Basically me watching Netflix, <laughs> cha, cha So maybe some of the cells were zombie-ish because they were dead and then activity was returned, but a zombie pig, not quite. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a win. Woo! So that's the science minute, but there's so much more to explore here. Like what if the line between life and death is not as clear as we thought? If there's a sort of alive category, mm -hmm. then what does that mean for animal testing or humane treatment? or the future of medicine, organ donors, future brain surgeries, blah. The implications of what this means are really making headlines. It also brings up questions about consciousness, this idea that we are more than just a lump of functioning cells. And that goes beyond science, beyond STEM, into philosophy, artists, writers. That's part of why I love studying science because it's not in a vacuum. We are all trying to figure out these big life questions together and science is one piece of the puzzle. Quick sidebar about this study, by the way, they were not trying to create consciousness in these pigs. In fact, they use drugs actively to suppress it because even though there are no regulations yet, because this kind of sort of alive context doesn't exist until now, these scientists were like, eh, probably not a great idea. I think they recognized that that might be very freaky and also possibly horrible for that animal if you were to bring a brain to consciousness without a body. So, you know, even though they didn't have regulations, I think these scientists had um, a good head on their shoulders. She's out of control. It's also worth noting the difference between science fiction and science, which can be hard to do when all these headlines say zombie pigs. I personally don't even think it needs the hype because the science itself is amazing. Scientists were able to take cells that were dead for hours and get them to reactivate to an extent. That is so cool. So without any flashy headlines, the science itself is pretty exciting. Oh, I can't help it, I can't help it. I love them so much, I love the puns, I love them, I love them. I also love neuroscience. This is totally my jam. I could talk about this for hours, days, weeks, years. Let me know if you want to learn more about brain science and I will make more videos. Or if there's something else you want to learn about, share in the comments below. Make sure you are subscribed with your notifications turned on so that you can find out if your question becomes the next Science Minute. I have very functioning brain cells, so I'm going to go be super duper cellularly active. I'll see you later, scientists. Till next time. Woo! Okay.